everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Royals. So, last episode uh, of the Duelist, we helped out with an assassinate mission. Did a pretty good job, picked up a few uh, few items here and there, but didn't really uh, affect our loadouts for the mechs for the Royals at all. Uh, we did re-outfit the Hatchet Man, but uh, other than that, we didn't do much. So let's have a quick look in the barracks before we start today, because we got some pilots with some, a little bit of extra experience, I think. Uh, we'll worry about you later. Um, Dragon, you're still good to go. So Smirk, you're good, but I think we're going to save up and go for gunnery on you, because we're having a hard time to hit with those uh, with the weapons you've got. Uh, Thunder, let's go with piloting. Get a bit of speed on your vehicle. I think tugboat is probably still good. Yes, Commander. No, you got a bit, a bit of room for guts, so I think we're going to go ahead and take that. I mean, I know we were saving for gunnery, but I'm thinking that um, because you're going to be piloting the Adder now, you're going to be uh, like in real close like you were in the Locust, but I think we want to keep uh, pushing guts a little bit Train here. Complete. Uh, just so you don't bail out on us. Uh, Virago, I don't Commander. think he's doing anything. Uh, Wrangler, you're good to go. And Ren, up, I think we go ahead and add a point to guts. Just so you don't bail. Mech warrior training complete. All right, now I haven't had a chance to look in the command center yet to see what kind of missions we've got for today. We had to go through the financial report because the waiver did take a bunch of damage last time, which is fine. Uh, so we we are going to have another duel here, a duo duel again for this month for the duelist. We got a defend base. What is this now? Who are we fighting? Clan Diamond Shark, a one skull. This is an ambush convoy, regular. Government convoy though. I'm trying to find clan stuff here. Local government convoy against clan wolf. I don't want to go against wolf because we're still trying to get our rep up with them. So, uh, man, what do we take here? This is for diamond shark against two locals. Hmm. Diamond shark is slowly we weaseling their way onto the planet here. Um. Clan Wolf forces. Man, really? That's against Clan Wolf. Uh, who are we against here? Who is this against? Wolf. Of course it is. Alright, well, uh, hmm. destroy a base against Clan Diamond Shark. Alright, that's not bad. Let's take that one. Gonna go full salvage. We're, we're gonna make our financial report this month. I'm not worried about it. So let's go with the full salvage on this. And then we'll get the drop going here. So let's go ahead and do load uh, clear. And then let's load um, the royals, which I think is gonna change. So let's apply. Yeah, because we're gonna pull the locust out and we're gonna put the adder down. So the adder, you'll see in the battle upcoming, um, it's kind of an interesting loadout. We got we got the internal built-in flamer already. Stealth Axe is built on this with a Guardian ECM. We got a pair of machine guns in each arm, uh, with some tracer ammo, and I think we got like six medium or seven medium lasers. So hopefully we can do output a lot of backstabbing damage with this thing. We'll see when we get into combat to see how well it, it uh, performs. But uh, we definitely want tugboat on that one because she's got lots of experience with fast uh, mechs and stuff. So let's just save this as Royals again. Yeah, let's click in the box for that. All right. So that should be our new Lance. Um, yeah, let's just go. Command interface initiated. All right, capture base just up ahead. That's a long way down the valley. All right, where do we want to start here? All right. Keep your eyes open and watch your senses. Let's hope they got lousy turrets. Oh man, this map. Oh, this was always a tricky one. Can we, uh, so you sometimes get reinforcements from over here, but it doesn't look like so today. They might. Um, so they're going to have at least five mechs here. Man, I hate being in this valley because it's like so over, it's like you're so exposed here. There's very little places to hide. And if they got a lot of indirect or direct fire turrets, we could be in a lot of trouble. So let's just go right here. Hope for the best. I want to get up behind this wall here and this wall here. To see what we're up against here. It's a good thing we got a bunch of ranged guys. 
So are they moving or is that we're round three already? I know it doesn't matter, but oh, no. yeah. So here's our adder loadout: six medium lasers, four machine guns, and a flamer. Uh, let's go field command right off the bat. We got good speed too, which is awesome. Let's get down to here. All right, we got sensors on. What are we up against here? Looks like urban mechs. R20, R59, really? R60C, sniper turret, ERPPC that's damaged, medium laser, streak turret, let's not get close to that guy, SRM6 turret, let's not get close to that guy, and the last one is tucked down behind here, I think. So we're good, let's just shoot this guy. How are we doing for heat? That's pretty warm. The environment's not the best. We're gonna leave the machine guns off for now, I think. And we'll fire the rest. I wanna see if we can remove this guy before he gets a chance to do anything. All right, you. Let's not give that guy a shot at you. Well, we don't have much of a choice. Don't have much of a choice. So we've got a comedian, chameleon LPS system that's up for grabs. Oof. Let's leave this off for now. Alright, a few hits. So I might drop it on one of these lighter mechs. We've already got stealth axe on this guy, but we might drop the chameleon on the mislinks. Hmm. Yeah. Interested to see what we're up against here. Uh, we've got lots of ammo. Sure. Confirm. I only hit five of them. We're not going to have him pulled down by the time we're uh, by the time next turn starts. He's going on thirteen anyway, so he's going to be going before us. Let's see what he does. Maybe we can get the sentinel on him and plaster him. Like plaster him. And maybe he turns and runs. Yeah, there we go. Into the mineral field though. I think he's got a pair of MML5s. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what he's got. Yeah, he's the Urban Knight. Orders. Urban Knight. He's taking a lot less damage from us too, so let's get over here. Roger. Full speed. Lousy chance to hit, but we're going to shoot at him anyway. Roger that. Okay, we got one on. Not bad. I think our vehicles are going to target the turrets. Alright. Not liking that. Ha! Send me a real opponent! Don't. Tempt. Fate! I keep telling you that. Guys, don't listen to me. Go to here. Moving to position. Get our armor facing the enemy. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, that's the rocket launcher guy, I think. Yeah, we can't let him shoot. He's gotta die. Like ASAP. Shit, here he comes. And here it comes. No, he's not shooting. Good to go. If anything, I want him to shoot for a vehicle. Can we get a solid blue on that guy? We can't. Uh, so let's just get in the trees and... Sh Understood. That way, if he, when he does shoot, it'll reduce the damage. Yeah, we gotta shoot this guy. We got no choice. Oh, fuck off with your AMS. I'm here. So is that urban mech going to have the juice to get around to get me? That's the question. This guy here. 
Like if I... Oh man, he's like... Hmm... He's going on 10. Uh, puts almost all of us ahead of him. Like, we could just rush in and try and kill this guy as fast as possible. Does this put me in range? This puts me in range of this guy. He's the sniper turret anyway. He's got ERPPC. That's 76. Oh, God. Sorry for hitting the mic there. Let's get uh, in here. I think we got to kill this rocket launcher. I don't think we have a choice in this matter. He's got to die, and he's got to die now. Because if this guy unloads, one of us is going, going to be hit really bad. I don't care about the heat on him, I just care about the damage. And we'll duck behind the rock after this. See ya! Fuck you! Cord him! Alright, feeling safe now. Let's just go after this guy, because fuck him. Let's get up to here. Good to go. This guy and his AMS have got to go. He's got to go. Um. Yeah, let's just get on him. He's got rocket packs, eh? Laser AMS. I know this is the melee version, but. Good to go. I thought he had MML5s. Maybe that was the loadout I put on him when I had one. Ready to get That's it probably on. the case. And I was just thinking that they came with MML5s. Okay, let's get into here. And firing. Alright, we got something open. Unsteady, make him easier to hit. Now we can give him a pasting with this guy, which we should be able to. Let's move. We can pull that urban knight down, get him out of here. Yep, pasting on its way. Yeah, shoot those down. Fuck you. Tango down. Ready for orders. All right, you guys are on turret duty. LRM 15. Hammer him. Hopefully we can have a couple of these turrets down by the time we get up there. Yeah, there's the last turret there. So he's probably got AC-10. Ultra Auto Cannon 2 turret. So there is some potential for good salvage here. I gotta back you up. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah, but we're he's spreading it around. Or that could be a rifle, like 60. He's got two ballistic. So that could be the rifled version. Diamond Shark's using garbage mechs. I don't know what's up with that. I hear you. I read you Let's spread out. Moving out. Back it up. You got the range. There's no point moving in. Alright, well we can't target any mechs or anything, but we might as well get some damage done in the buildings. Affirmative. Reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Bring it down. Ooh, he hit too. I'm getting pummeled. Yeah, well, you're gonna be out of there next turn, so don't worry about it. Ready for orders. You did your job. Now the question is. Yeah, see, like this base is always the toughest one to assault because. The turrets are in good position, with the exception of this back corner turret, all the turrets are in really good position. Like if this was an indirect fire turret back here, it would be devastating, but 
it's such a tough base to a attack because the enemy gets good cover, like their mechs get good good cover, and their turrets are in good positions. So that's indirect fire on this guy. I want him gone, but I can't. So I'm out of the visual range of the ERPPC turret here. But I might be in range of the SRMs. Actually, I can't tell because I've got chem lasers. That's pretty that's put puts me in pretty close. Oh, I don't like it at all. No, sir, I don't like it. That's probably going to be safe. No With the exception Just of the ERPPC running. turret, we got enough armor to handle it, so I want this guy out of my way here. I think we throw the Thunderbolt up on this guy and see if we can blast his arm off. Time to unload. Nice. There goes the arm. Or whole side, anyway. Reporting Mortar's gone. Alright, so he's not a threat. He is not a threat anymore. Okay. Receiving you. What's up? The PPC turret is our next target. On it. I think everybody that's got the range on it is gonna shoot at it so we can move in. So you fart the turret. Let's use the thumper now on the turret, I think. Attack you from the Okay, that's the uh, thumper hit. That's some good damage. I'm out of AC-10 ammo. That's fine. You did your job, Bubba. Bye. You did your job. I'm there. Let's drop our heat, get our stability back. Now, where do we get hit, leg? I guess out of all the places we got hit, that's probably the best place to get hit. Commander. That's not a direct line of fire. Where can we see? We can there. I want to get a direct line of sight on that uh, PPC turret, so give him another target to shoot at. I got lots of frontal armor, so. Roger that. Yeah, the turret's severely damaged now. One more turn, we should be able to bring it down. I think. Yeah, AC10. Nice shooting. Nice shooting. The. Uh, Diamond Shark crew might be running uh, old crappy mechs, but they're uh, still good at hitting people. Um, let's get you back here for now. Nope. Here. There we go. Copy that. The lighter guys aren't really much use at the moment. We could move in, but then the, like, the streaks and the SRM-6s will just rip them apart, so there's no point in doing that. On so you, we can Commander. get rid of their fire support units here. Okay, can we get a shot... A direct line of sight on that PPC turret. Not from there. Not from there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get one. So let's just move forward a bit. Pedal to the metal. Now the question is... No, let's apply damage to the buildings. Or to the uh, turret, I mean. All weapons! Go. Wow, the the cluster didn't even come anywhere near that co that whole area over there. Okay, cool. That's what I want. That's what I want. What's up, boss? Let's see if you can finish that turret off. Yeah, why is this guy gold? This like my colors. I don't change my color schemes. So I don't know why all of a sudden it changes the color. Yeah, I think the Thunderbolt pack is probably well used on this guy. Copy that. Yeah, landed. Good damage. Hopefully the Sentinel already. can finish that up. Ready for orders. We're really hot though, so... I mean, I'm not expecting much out of this, but we'll on see. It. Don't know how much I can really fire here. Well, that's not bad. On it. That should do it. Yep. Okay, their big gun is down. Target destroyed. Now we just need to take care of the AC-10s. Let's shoot the Zoya. 
Fine by me. Right here. So if I'm not in range of those turrets, that means they're not in range to shoot me. Right? Moving full speed. Pretty sure that's the case. Also, let's vigilance so we get a better chance, hopefully, initiative next turn. Gonna go with everything on this guy. Targeting for an strike. Yep, thanks for showing up. At least he's sticking in the fight. I hear ya. I probably would have bailed out. I'd be like, ah, fuck this shit. I got nothing left. What's the point of staying? <laughs> Not gonna make a difference with a medium la or a small laser. Commencing alpha strike. Okay, head hit. Nice. Commander. Okay, that's the tag range. So, let's go here. On the move. Because it's probably out of SRM range. Our tag has got a range of like 4, 480 or something, so that's why I can target this guy. But the rest of this stuff can just hammer this guy. Roll that. Now the big one missed, damn it. There goes his AC-10, beautiful. That's going to hurt. So we should just have a machine gun left. Shooting for the hunter, just what I wanted. Nice. Receiving you. Nice, Gary. Aye, aye. This guy's the next turret, I think. The regular SRM turret. Locked on. Ah, five points. Five points is five points. Ooh, the ultra turrets in- Oh, yeah. I just came around the edge. Light damage. Holding firm. Looks like it's only one ultra two, though, so it's not so bad. Yes, Commander. Yeah, let's not, uh... Oh, no matter where I go, it puts me in melee range of these stupid, uh, urban mechs. That puts me in range of the turrets. Now we're down behind the hill. We should be away from the turrets, which was okay. Get on this guy. Just fire the medium lasers. Here they come. Locking in target. Okay, 100 points damage. Not bad. Standing by. Okay, you're on the turrets. Or should we go after this guy? 65, 46. He doesn't have his... Yeah, no, I think it's this guy. Leave the ER small off, though, but we'll fire the rest on him. Engaging with Hawk. Damn it. Thank you for showing up. Good to go. Yeah, let's get away from the Ultra 2 turret. That. I was gonna like just stay here, but I think we get away from the Ultra 2 turret and just shoot this guy. Target locked. It's go time. Okay, good damage. There goes the left side. Solid connection on that one. And maybe Wrangler. Now we're gonna finish this guy off, I think. Um. Uh, wait, your damage side is towards us. Oof. That's you can still see me there. Can't see me there though. Okay. You don't have any indirects, I'm not worried. We'll just go right here. Shoot this guy. Take this one off so we don't burn ourselves up. 
See ya. Let's go. Let's go. Smoked one. What? Oh, that. Okay. Sorry. I thought that was the guy with the ultra with the uh, ten. Waiting on you, Commander. You don't even need to move. Just keep focusing on this guy, I think. Firing everything I've got. Once again, the cluster, the uh, LBX-5 system's janky. Ooh, boy. That shot got past my armor. Yeah, he's uh, Receiving you. loving you. Let's not give him another shot at you, though. Yeah, like shooting from the front, hitting the side again. So I disagree with that, um, with the angle you're at. It's just a random... I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. What do we got on this thing? 16? 27. Let's fire at this guy. Firing. He's kind of the threat right now. But he won't be in a second. If we can sneak the adder and stuff in there. Not get to a point where that guy can shoot at us, though. Uh, we gotta move, so let's go here. I guess we shoot at the front of that urban mech. Didn't want to have to shoot at the front, but we will. Affirmative. Good chances to hit, so we'll take them. It's beautiful. Standing by. All right, do we want to drop heat? this turn. Let's drop a bit of heat this turn. Let's move into here. So. This guy's so overheated. We'll drop a bit of heat. We'll fire four. Engaging. Yeah, this adder will be really nice once we're out of the, the, uh, the hot environment. You. Which I think we'll probably be leaving pretty soon. Within the next couple of episodes we'll be leaving, I think. I'm not even going to move. Locking on yes, court him. Okay, so this is just cleanup mode at, the, at this point. Target eliminated. It's too bad it's all urban max because it would be nice what to. Uh, it'd be nice to get some good salvage off these guys, but hopefully we get some of the turret stuff. Like the clan SRM sixes would be nice. Good to go. Just go after this turret. Roger. Okay, let's move to here. On the move. Don't know how much we can fire, but we got to cool off anyway, so we might as well just put a few on this guy. Drop the ER medio, medium, fire all the, uh, the smalls. Firing on top. Ooh, brutal. Inflicted some heavy damage. Not going to bail out? Fine. Stay there and die. Probably shut down. He's gaining heat like every turn. Right here. All right. Um. Copy. Let's end this SRM six turret's life. Should be able to do that easily this turn. We got plenty of things to use on it. Yep, fire it all. Target Boom! How does 50 bullets in your ass Target. make your day? Okay, let's move in, take one of the buildings down. Both of these two, I think, uh, in a turn can just finish the uh, that other turret up. Yeah, we'll fire these. Yes, Commander. Can you building me, please? Finish that up. Target acquired. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enemy structure eliminated. I'll be interested to see if they do get reinforcements. I, I highly doubt it. Standing by. Let's soften this turret up a bit. Copy that. All right, one hit. 
Doesn't look like it's got a lot of armor. Standing by. Don't need to move. Got it. Nice. I hear you. You, on the other hand, might as well move up a little bit. Ooh, we can't see the building from there. Or the turret? Wait, where was the turret shot? Right there. Right, come on, direct fire. Well, Zori didn't take a lot of damage this this match, which is pretty good. They were loving the hunter. I'm not exactly sure why, but this should be good. Yeah, you got to get that. <laughs> you got to get a, a AC looked at, buddy. I'm gonna. I, I'm interested to see how much longer that guy can last. I don't know how much he's. I don't know how much longer that urban Mexican. No, <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> I didn't think he would last much longer, and he didn't. Uh, Flamer does more damage. Let's use that. Let's keep that up. Fire these off. Pop them like a zit. Target past the fight. Ready for orders. All right, dragons, get on this AC2 turret. Confirmed. Nothing survives this fight. Everything goes away. Everything goes away. Roger. Your goal is just to soften him up. We got the uh, mislinks to finish him off, so. Yes, Commander. Ooh, let's not get that. Oh man, it's really it's a. Ah. Let's just go here. Pulling off. I want to fire with the Sentinel too, just in case. So I don't want to be like, have my back facing the Sentinel. Just why I'm positioning this way. It's a worse chance to hit, but it's, we're better off. Fuck it, we'll take the heat. Wow, really? Okay, armor's gone. Receiving you. All right, we're gonna move in a bit. Roger that. Hoping it helps out those large chem lasers, because we are at long range here. The Ultra 2 is probably well in range already, but the large chems could be in a little closer. Engaging. All right, one hit. 91 damage, popped him like a zit. Turret destroyed. Let's finish this up and go Waiting home, people. You, Commander. Finish it up and go home. Um, this one's taking damage, so let's go after that one. No sweat. And it's gone. Target destroyed. Orders. All right, that wasn't too bad. A little bit of maneuvering at the beginning there. They were in pretty good position. They just didn't have the firepower. Taking the shot. That PPC though, that landing that first shot, kind of indicating of how accurate yes, it was. Commander. I knew I had to kill that right away. I mean, it just makes sense. It's doing 75 damage a shot, right? But still, like. A lot of the other things are, are dangerous as well, right? Engaging. That guy's gone. Hey there. Like the uh, the tens are dangerous Order. as hell, right? Roll to that. Like sixty damage, and they were landing. Like that's the thing. It's like scary when the enemy just landing all their shots, you know? Copy that. Not quite enough. Waiting for orders. All right, Smirky boy, finish him off. Roger. Okay, maybe not. Uh, let's give it to Thunder. What can I do for you? It's all yours, buddy. Let's see if we can hit it with the cluster. You betcha. There you go. Let's go home. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Made a bit of sea bills, not a lot, but a little bit. I don't know what our salvage situation is going to look like. We, we barely took any damage. Yeah, I took one good solid hit, but the rest was just uh, a lot of misses. So, do we get is a laser AMS, which right now it's not really looking like it's a good idea. Only because it just adds heat every time it activates, So, and I don't have the heat to spare. So, there's the SRM-6 and an Ultra 2. Hot seat cockpit again. I'm going to grab that. I mean, we're really looking for stuff for these guys, not for uh, fire control system, blood sport, melee accuracy, and a plus one initiative. 
Throw it in there. Defensive gyro. Clan double heat sinks. Piloting support A, B. Sentinel sensors. Fiber sword. Ultra 2 ammo. All right, what do we want more? The SRM6 is good because it's half weight, although it does have more heat than normal. It's a little bit more heat, but the half weight is, like, great. So we want to keep that. The Ultra 2... 25 tons. It's a good backup and a good range. I mean, we need these. Vibro Sword, we already passed one of these up. We don't really need it. Spiked Armor is kind of nice. Increases the armor weight, though. Reduces walking distance. Yeah, at this point, it's not really giving us anything. Patchwork Materials Tier 1 is, what, 0.2 tons, which isn't much. It's good if you get it in the roll, but I don't really absolutely want to grab it. Um, it's weird that we're grabbing a lot of stuff for the melee guys, but there's nothing else really here that I want. All right, let's just grab this stuff. All right, we got some... We got uh, two Urbanite pieces, one R20... So we can put together a few mechs. We've got an AC-10. Let's, let's keep that. The rockets will keep. The small chem will probably just... 0.25 tons. Let's just hang on to it for now. Small laser will... We've got lots, so we can get rid of that one. Primitive armor can go. Regular ECM will hold on to, because we're really running low on ECMs. Blood support we keep. These guys can go. Piloting support we got. Primitive cockpit can go. Oh yeah, we got two of these. That's some good C-bills right there. Structure can go. Looks like we've made our financial report now. Small chem laser ammo, which is nice. Machine gun ammo, which we don't have any of. But we have AP ammo and stuff. You know what? Let's just hang on to it. All right, that's not bad. All right, not like, like nothing for repairs. We got really lucky on this battle. We got really lucky. They were targeting the vehicle. And, I mean, they almost took out the hunter, but not, not quite. All right, let's go to the mech bay real quick. I want to assemble a couple of those urban mechs. Just to see what kind of gear we can get out of them. And I gotta look at maybe outfitting the Clint somehow. I don't know. Right, right now, both of these mechs are actually running really well. They did do a fair bit of like damage output. And they're great backstabbers, so I don't want to replace any of them. And the Sentinel's doing okay. Wavern's doing okay. So I don't know where the Clint would go just yet, unless we get expand our uh, mech bay to include more mechs uh, for drop. But that's going to increase our, um, our financial report. I don't want to quite just do that yet. Because we're already pretty pricey every month. So let's just look here what we got in storage. I know we've got a couple of... Oh, we do have a full pack hunter we can put together. But we're not going to use it quite yet. Let's bring an Urban Knight forward. Actually, we got... This guy we can bring forward. doesn't cost us anything. That mech you wanted is I'm going to bring the Urban Knight forward. The R80 is what? Stub those PPC. So we want to assemble that one as opposed to... That's the Arrow 4 one. Hmm. Huh. Howler we've got. Locust parts we've got. Uh, let's just hold off on those. So the Urban Knight, I could technically bring the Urban Knight forward with an R20 piece and see what gear we can get off this. Because I know this has got a lot of like additional stuff. So let's do... That's ready that. We'll, we'll grab an R20 piece. Save the R80 and the R um, Arrow 4, or R4, whatever it is, RIV, or AIV, sorry. Okay, so we got a couple of things we can check out here, so let's just see what you got left here on you. Not a lot, looks like. Looks like not a lot. Some heat sinks, machine gun ammo, AC-10 ammo, that's it. Well, I wasn't expecting much, but it was worth a shot. All right, let's just trash you. 50 grand, that's not bad. And this guy. Now, I wish we, I wish we could pull out the vibro shield and all that stuff, but you can't. These are, like, locked into the mech. So when you trash it, they're gone. Oh, the XL engine survived, though. Defensive gyro survived. Compact heatsink sur kit survived. Clan endo survived. Um, ECM survived. So we got a lot of great stuff off this guy. And the 210 core survived. 
cool. I'm actually going to sell this XL core too. So let's go ahead and uh, trash this guy. As much as I want to put things together, we don't have any room for it right now, and it's just going to be money every month. So let's go to. Uh, let's actually just go to the store. I should have checked the store at the beginning of the month too. I never did that. I got to get in the habit of continuously checking it for stuff. LBX twenty mortars. Oh, uh, battle computer heat. Oh shit! That we should buy that. Uh, that's, that's a no-brainer. New equipment available. That's a no-brainer. We buy that. Um, all right. LBX-10 cluster ammo. Do we have any LBX-10s? Ultra-2 double. Ultra-20 half. New equipment it's available. cheap enough. I don't know if we need that. I'm going to take... I'm just going to buy the cluster. New equipment available. I don't know if we have a cluster LBX-10 yet or not, but... I'm going to buy it because at some point we'll most likely have it. We're going to need ammo for it, so... And it's cheap enough, right? There's no point in not buying it. All right, what do we want to ditch here? Not a lot up here at the top. I want to keep as many weapons as possible. Uh, the vehicle frame, flamer can probably just go... Because we need ammo for these, and I would rather... We got the clan flamers. They're just a little better, I think. I don't know. Let's just hang on to it. Well, the compact heatsink kit I should probably just get rid of because finding compact heat, compact heat sinks is so hard. So let's just sell that. Make some money back here. Duralast, we're going to hold on to. It was a damage 210 core here, which is right here. We might as well just get rid of that. Make a bit of coin off it. And then the XL we can get rid of for 325. Got two clan XLs, which we're going to hang on to. I don't think there's anything else I really want to get rid of currently. Well, maybe one of these guys. Two defensive gyros. Um, just going to send sell 10 regular heat sinks. Yeah, the heat sinks are so cheap. Now, we used to make so much money off the double heat sinks. I think at one point in time, you could sell them for like, was it 40 grand a pop or 20 grand a pop? I think it was around 40 a pop. 40 grand. And you used to make so much money off double heat sinks, it was ridiculous. But not anymore. Not anymore. Let's just sell uh, a few of those. Yeah, not much left here. Everything else I think I want to keep. All the ammo is like not worth anything, so. Okay, we're at 1.5 million, which is more than enough for the financial port. I'm going to have to look at Moving to uh, that one and a half skull world, which I think is over here. Who are you controlled by? Diamond Shark. What is it? Smoke Jag or Nova Cat? And Burak are here as well as you. Hmm. It's an arid world again anyway. Being raided by Jade Falcon. Uh, as much as I want to help out, we're not involved in this battle. Not much I could do about it anyway. Looks like Wolf's just lost. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here. I got to think about what we're going to do. I think maybe I just we maybe we just stay on this planet for now, because we're working on getting uh, rep with Wolf, and I increase the um, difficulty variance. So, like, right now it's at two, so we can get between half and one skull, a one and a half skull. But I could put it at four to give us up to two and a half skull missions here. And it would just be random. The benefit of moving to a one and a half skull world um, is that we can, like, you know, at least have the variance. Like, even if it's still set to two, you're still going to get from half to two and a half skull. But I think there's a greater chance to getting up to two and a half skull, if that makes sense. Rather than being, I don't know, maybe it's the same. I'm trying to do the math in my head, I think it's probably the same. So if it's going to be the same, we might as well just stay here. But anyway, I'll figure that out between episodes. I'm going to end this one here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.